what's going on, Mario? Today I have a special because, um, it's just a short special because I have reached a small achievement, uh, which is, a, well, achievement, still achievement for me, 150 subscribers, yeah, um, so, I remember, like, last month or so, still in the summer, I reached 100 subscribers, super happy, I tried to do a special, but it didn't work out too well, I'm sorry, uh, I did announce I will be going, doing a server, but, um, yeah, but since I got my new computer and all, um, that I'll be doing a server, so, this will pro- this is prob- actually, no, this is not 150, but, um, this is probably 140 subscriber special. I'm probably a bit late, but, you know, I just noticed. And then, on the 150, um, I probably will be opening up a server, and I'll be just, show um, doing a quick video telling- telling you get that, guys, that, so- this is not my setup, of course. This was actually um, my very old setup. Not on this desk, it was on my other desk over there. Uh, this is not my setup at all. This is my old setup, so it's a, a, kind of like a before-after. So what I had before, this is all before. This is not what I have now, right? Before, to, I, what I used to listen to and what I used to, as a mic, was a Turtle Beach P11 headset. Alright. Uh, I actually did not use this mic. I still use the same mic because I like... I mean, not mic, but mouse. Because I like my mouse now. It was wireless. This was my Lenovo... I put a Turtle Beach sticker on. This is not on there. This is my Lenovo uh, IdeaPad N580. Uh, not low-end gaming. I, as you probably tell, my videos are really lacking. of hard, hard to do this one-handed, but... Ugh. It was an Intel Pentium, so yeah. There we go. It was like that. The keyboard was actually had a number pad, so that's what I liked about it. This is actually a very good laptop for work and uh, videos. It's just and and uh, portableness. So yeah, this I only I mainly got it for gaming, but you know it's still a really great laptop for a cheap price. So yeah, my old setup basically just of the old setup here, except this setup was before it was on my other desk, which has my new PC now. So, yeah, I did all my recordings on there, and then I wanted an upgrade so bad. So then I got the Yeti, and then I got the new PC. So this is the before part of it. And the next part is, if we change over here, is where, that's my loft right up there, which is, the match is not there if I look behind, because um don't really sleep that much, more like a storage area. This is where I have a, a printer, a wireless printer, uh, some bags and stuff down there. Uh, Disney Magic Band, when I went to Disney World, Legos, Broken Legos, um, the printer, of course, and books, all of them books, and a PC game that I don't play anymore. Um, and this is my setup. This is the awesome new setup that I have. I've been wanting to do this kind of video because, you know, I, you, you guys don't really know what my PC is. So, I'll probably have a link down in the description of the website of the specs and stuff of the eight, of what my computer is, but I didn't buy it online, I buy, bought it at Costco, so, yeah, if you want to buy my computer, then, uh, I don't know where, but I'll tell you the exact model, so, now, uh, shortly, I mean. This is a, my monitor I have, I don't have dual monitors or anything, don't need, really need that yet. Um, as you can see, I have the same background. But this monitor is 23 inches, so it's on a way bigger scale. So, like, the, the start bar is really small. And I can barely make it out there. Oh, no, it's too bright. Wait. There. Pavilion 23 um, times I. It's kind of hard when I do that. When I do that, it just... You can barely make it up, probably. And I don't know if that means 23 inches, but yeah. Um, it's a pretty good monitor, actually. Um, um, I noticed that when I recorded on my old laptop, the saturation was a bit low. But when I record now on this monitor, it's really great saturation. And the colors are great for Minecraft and videos, too. And stupid Norton. Oh, well. X out of you. All right. So this is the same mouse and the same mouse pad I as I had. Um, I may upgrade the mouse pad because I have a new one that doesn't move around a lot. It's actually over here, right here. It is a. Oh gosh, it's a hockey thing. So let me just put this down here and put my new mouse on there. Oh yeah, that feels a lot better. That seems cool. And my old mouse pad is gone. So yeah, update to the. 
sir, um, update now. I have a new, sweet new mouse pad here. It feels really good. The mouse is the exact same, actually. It's the Microsoft Wireless Pad. I know it's not a gaming mouse. It's pretty small, but for me, it gets the job done. A mouse is a mouse. You don't need a $100 mouse just to game. It's really, like, really weird. I mean, like, people get, like, 100 buck Razer mouses. And, like, for comfortableness. But, honestly, a, um, a simple mouse gets the job done really well. So, this is my awesome Blue Yeti microphone. Um, just a quick review. Uh, it, it is a side adjust microphone. You do not speak at it from the from the top. Only from the side. Um, two ports on the bottom. You, you guys probably know. I won't do a review. But, this is, yeah, what I used to record. And, you, it also has this function where you can plug in headphones into it. Like, just normal... Apple headphones or um, MP3 headphones, so or MP3 player headphones, those type of stuff, because it is a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So I use these Panasonic uh, stereo headphones, the RPHD 360. It's kind of blurry, but because I'm using an iPad Mini to record right now, it's kind of bad quality. <laughs> Sorry about that, but um. I plug this into my Yeti, and it's a perfect combination, so that like I don't have to mess with any of the auto settings there. Um, it's kind of complicated to explain now. I don't, know, but um, yeah, you can just do a uh, Google search or YouTube search of Blue Yeti review and stuff. Normal lamp here. Turn on if I want to do like homework on this. And uh, this is the keyboard that I got with my PC. And, um, I, I didn't say it, but my PC over there came with the monitor, a keyboard, two mini speakers right there that I don't use, but that's really cool. I think it uh, gave me two stereo speakers. And also, this mouse right here, as you can see, they're all HP. 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 This is, um, Hewlett Packard, which is HP. And HP on the mini speakers right there. So yeah, this all came in a big box bundle. I don't know where the box is. Is in here? No, it's somewhere, but I have to find it. Um. And yeah, so now the to the best thing is this, which is my PC, which is actually on my desk, and it's not under my desk because I don't have too much space there with all the wires and. And this is my green desk that I had a long time ago, even before I did get my, even before I had my laptop, my Lenovo laptop, some random stuff in there, and this is the, my computer, this is the star of the show right here, so it is a H, HP Pavilion, it's um, it got, it's, it's got Radeon, AMD Radeon HD 8470 dedicated graphics card, it has Intel Core i5 processor, so, uh, um, my graphics card is decent, um, it can run Minecraft, uh, average, like when you're on a normal generated world, on 1.6.4, including Optifine, I run like, um, I'd say 60 to 80 and sometimes 90 to 100 if I go into some less laggy places, but on like, um, some server lobbies, um, I run at least 100, so, FPS, um, it's not the best, but it gets the job done for me, and yeah, this is a router here, a Cisco router, because I am using Ethernet now, you can see that blue cable, because, I don't know, but the Wi-Fi adapter for, the, for this is really bad, like, don't use Wi-Fi if you have an HP Pavilion, um, use Ethernet, that's what fixed before, I couldn't even play Hunger Games, because everything was frozen, my drop, like, the Java thing was, I, I just, like, it was terrible, I could barely play games, um, but it seemed that YouTube was fine, so that was the thing I could do, um, so, so I, my dad moved the router from his room to my room, just so that I can use Ethernet, so, yeah, I really thank, thank him for that, because the Wi-Fi adapter, the download speeds were, like, um, 1 and 8, and, like, 2 and 5, was really bad, now with Ethernet, I get at least... For thirty to um, for at least forty um, down uh, megabytes per second for the download speed. So yeah, basically this is my whole setup right here. Let me stand back so you can see have a better view of it. 
from an angle right here. It's probably the best angle here. Um, if you want, you can take a screenshot if you want, but it doesn't really matter. So yeah, uh, mouse, monitor, great PC, cool keyboard, and I'll type some stuff so you can hear what it feels, see, uh, hear what it sounds like. So yeah, I just freaking let me just I'll type in. I don't know what I'm doing. I think I hit. Oh, whoa! Crap. There we go. I hit Alt. So, I'll close out of that and minimize. Boop. And that is all the hardware setup. I know this is kind of a long video, but I've been babbling on too much. And the software that I use to record is I use Muros Action and DX Tori. Sometimes I switch between them both because um I really like mirrorless action because it doesn't drop your frame rate at all. At, and I'm telling you, if you've tried mirrorless action on a decent computer, it does not drop your frame rate at all. Like um when I'm recording on Minecraft using mirrorless action, like about eighty, like sixty to eighty, and then when I'm well that, that's I mean that's when I'm not recording, and then when I am recording, I get about sixty to eighty. But I record at thirty. But I'm playing at 60 to 80, and it's amazing. And same with DX Story, but it does drop my frame rate a bit. I was playing home games, I got like 100 to 130, and it dropped my frames, and I was playing at about 80 to 90. It was, you know, it was okay and playable, but Muriel's action will probably keep it around the hundreds, and maybe not even lower it at all. But the problem with Muriel's action is that. Maybe the wire's bad with the Blue Yeti, but whenever I record, at the start of the video, the audio's, like, g a good volume. And then when I, um, at the, it, the, the volume, the audio fades, um, and at the end, it's really, my audio re is really quiet. Um, it's, it's only, it's only my, my mic volume. So, if you know any help with that, it only happens with my Blue Yeti, though. So if you could help me with that, because I really love World's Action. That's the only problem I have with it. So, um, yeah. So, and DX Story, that's why I use it, because the volume audio doesn't fade during a long video. So, yeah, and I also like World's Action, because there's a face cam feature in there. So, yeah, but that's um, basically what I used to record. What I used to edit is Sony Vegas Pro 12. What I used to make my thumbnails is paint.net. Um... Of course, I play Minecraft, I use Minimator, and yeah, stuff like that. So, thank you guys for watching this setup video. If I missed anything, leave it down in the comments on what you want to ask me. But that's basically it. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this um, 140 subscribers special, or whatever special, because I've just been growing um, a lot. And, uh, not a lot, but I've just... My audience has grown from zero subscribers from this year to like 140, and I think that's a good leap for me. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace out, and as always, stay worthy, my Oreos.